At the laboratories of the British Antarctic Survey, Professor Lloyd Peck studies these creatures to find out just how they survive and what makes the icy ocean so advantageous for some forms of life. If we move down here, we can see some of our really special animals. These are a little fish. These are called the plunderfish. I haven't seen this. That's a beauty. Oh, is it all right? Yeah, no, they're fine. If a predator comes along, they open the mouth, push the gill cases out, and push their spines out to stop themselves being eaten. They breed in our tank, and they're one of the classic types of Antarctic fish. So how cold is it? The water is below zero degrees. But it's seawater, so it doesn't freeze. And what you've seen here is those animals living there are permanently living below zero degrees. So why don't they freeze? Well, the fish would freeze, except for the fact they've got antifreeze in their, in their blood and in their tissues and in their bodies. And they need antifreeze to live in these temperatures. They have antifreeze in their blood? They make their own antifreeze. They have proteins that are antifreeze protein. There's antifreeze everywhere because without it, ice crystals would grow inside their cells, they'd grow inside their blood, and it would just rip their tissues apart. OK, so I've got another animal in here that I want to show you. This is a sea spider. Oh, look at him. And in Antarctica, the sea spiders get really big. The biggest ones are 40 centimetres from leg tip to leg tip. So that'd be, what, twice the size of this one? About twice the size of that one. And the biggest sea spiders in the Antarctic are 1,000, maybe 2,000, 3,000 times heavier than the biggest sea spiders in Europe. Why do they get to be so big? Well, the reason they get big is because it's cold. And there are two things that happen when seawater gets cold. One is that the amount of oxygen that you can get in the water goes up. There's nearly twice as much oxygen in the seawater in Antarctica as in the tropics. And because it's cold, their metabolic rates run much slower than animals elsewhere. So it's like live cheaper, grow bigger? Live cheaper, grow bigger, yeah. And it's not just the sea spiders that grow large. This is a 40-armed starfish. It's an animal whose his Latin name is Labediaster. Oh, my so God. So there we are. You have a hold of that, OK? This is a really small one, OK? The big ones get up to 70, 80 centimetres across. So they're huge. They're one of the big predators in the Antarctic on the seabed. There's his stomach. They crawl over the top of animals, put their stomachs out, and eat them from the outside. What is it about the ice that makes all these weird adaptations and strange animals? Well. The ice helps keep the temperature constant in the seas. And what it's done is it's kept that temperature low and constant for maybe 25 million years. So it's not just cold, it's also steady. It is. And the Antarctic Ocean is possibly the most constant temperature place on Earth. And it's been there for such a long time that the animals have been able to adapt to it in a very fine scale way, in a way that it hasn't happened anywhere else on Earth. These creatures are the product of a unique ecosystem that revolves around ice. By studying how they've managed not just to adapt, but to thrive, we can learn about the impact of cold and how well icy environments can support life. <laughs>